One out of 10 women of childbearing age has polycystic ovary syndrome. Let me show you the best PCOS diet for your issues. PCOS stands for polycystic ovary syndrome, which is a condition that causes hormonal imbalances which create systemic inflammation that seriously affects your metabolism. If you don't get your PCOS under control, you're at risk for developing diabetes, cardiovascular disease, depression, and even endometrial cancer. You can reduce the impact of polycystic ovary syndrome on your health by following a PCOS diet. While you may lose weight with a PCOS diet, the main objective is to lower inflammation. Systemic inflammation can be seen on a blood test called a cardioreactive protein, or CRP. If a high sensitive CRP is greater than one, you have systemic inflammation. If you have PCOS, you may also have high triglycerides, low HDL levels, and high fasting blood sugar. These are signs of metabolic syndrome, which is caused by insulin resistance, common in PCOS patients. More than 50% of women with PCOS develop diabetes or prediabetes before the age of 40. How does diet affect PCOS? The primary way that diet affects PCOS is managing insulin levels and reversing insulin resistance. And the good thing about reversing insulin resistance is that it helps you lose belly fat. Research has found that what you eat has significant effects on PCOS. That being said, there's currently no standard diet for PCOS. But experts agree on which foods are beneficial to managing PCOS and which foods to avoid. First, the best PCOS diet is low carb. Have you ever heard of a glycemic index? That's how fast a carbohydrate gets converted into sugar by your body. High glycemic index foods get converted quickly and cause your insulin levels to rise, contributing to insulin resistance and making your PCOS condition worse. Your body digests foods with a low glycemic index much more slowly, so insulin levels stay stable, meaning stable blood levels and less insulin resistance and less body fat storage. Foods with low glycemic index include whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds, fruits, and starchy vegetables. You'll notice more sustained energy and better digestion when you eat a diet rich in low glycemic index foods. Avoid processed starchy carbs like white rice, pasta, bread, baked goods, and anything with added sugar. Second, the best PCOS diet is anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory foods may reduce the inflammation caused by PCOS-related metabolic syndrome. What you'll notice when you eat more berries, fatty fish, leafy greens, and extra virgin olive oil is less fatigue and clearer skin. The best PCOS diet includes whole, natural, unprocessed foods, meaning it's not coming from a can or a box. Lots of high fiber foods like whole grains and vegetables. Fatty fish, including salmon, tuna, sardines, and mackerel, which are rich in anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids. Arugula, spinach, kale, and other dark leafy greens. Purple and red fruits that are rich in polyphenols, such as red grapes, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and cherries. And cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower help control PCOS symptoms by providing IC3 indoles. Beans, lentils, and other legumes, which are low glycemic index carbs, provide protein and healthy fats like olive oil, avocados, and coconuts. Nuts and seeds, including pine nuts, walnuts, almonds, pistachios, sunflower, and pumpkin seeds. And dark chocolate is rich in polyphenols too and helps raise your serotonin level to mitigate PCOS mood swings. I like to treat dark chocolate like a drug, no more than an ounce a day. Hot spices like turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, black pepper have superior anti-inflammatory effects. If you want access to the same PCOS diet I prescribe my patients, just sign up for our free hormone reboot training. Plus, you'll get the support you need to stick with your PCOS diet in our private hormone support group. Researchers have found that people lose more weight when their diet emphasizes monounsaturated fats like olive oil than saturated fats. Monounsaturated fats should make up two thirds of your daily fat intake, while saturated fats are usually derived from animal products and should make up only one third of your diet intake of fat. 
Studies show that people who followed a low carbohydrate or low glycemic index diet saw improved insulin metabolism and lower cholesterol levels. Women with PCOS who eat low carbohydrate diet, like my insulin resistant diet, report more regular periods and generally feel better. Studies also show that losing weight helps overweight women with PCOS, and the best way to do that is to combine your diet with exercise. I'll see you in the next video.